And now on to our special guest tonight, an Indian physicist who's won the biggest physics prize possible, the $3 million Fundamental Physics Prize for his work in theoretical physics. I spoke earlier with Dr. Ashok Sen. Uh, many, many congratulations for that award. $3 million prize, has it even sunk in? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Right, you've received just so much recognition in the past. Is this is really being described as the biggest jackpot, as it were? Does that really make it more special? Well, certainly the money is much more, and it's also an international prize. It's a, for the first time it has started, so that certainly makes it special. Right, and I'm the fact that I'm getting it with so many other, uh, I mean, uh, such well-recognized people, that certainly makes it very special. Right, that of course is this kind of recognition coming uh, from those who really value your work and understand its significance. Also, it's being said that if the God particle was really, you know, the, the big moment of the science we've known so far, your work is really what sets the stage for the future, is perhaps the future itself. How do you see uh, comments like this? Well, string theory certainly has not been tested experimentally. But unfortunately, I mean, we don't have currently the current kind of energy that is needed to st test string theory. So we basically follow the next best alternative, which is to try to use the requirement of mathematical consistency as much as possible to try to understand the nature of uh, gravity and quantum mechanics. I mean, in this sense, I can also say that even the Higgs particle, which was discovered last week or a few weeks ago, I mean, it was predicted about 50 years ago, simply based on the mathematical consistency. And it has taken us so many years to discover it. Right. So we are hoping that hopefully string theory will also be experimentally tested in the future, but that is quite far in the future. Right, quite far there, but of course uh, it will happen one day, like you're saying, that of course is now on the horizon. You know, you're also among, uh, the, the, the only Indian actually among these nine awardees. That really is quite something, also uh, an indication really of the merit of Indian scientists. That's true, yeah. Particularly, I think in the field of string theory, there are many, very, very, very uh, many good Indian string theorists all over the country who are um, working, who are very active in the field and who are, who are among the leaders. So in our field, I'll say India has done very well. Right. India has done very well. Scientists, of course, getting this kind of recognition. Now, uh, there are all those who, who sort of routinely worry about how are you today not taking to science for all those, uh, perhaps tomorrow's Dr. Ashok Sen's budding scientists of the future there who are still unsure about which way to head. What would you say to them? Well, I would say that if you are interested in science, you should come into science. I mean, right, right now, I think there is a lot of opportunity in science. Right. Not that you will make the kind of money that you will make by going <laughs> to an industry. Right. But you can live quite comfortably by doing science. And you should come into science if you feel interested in it. And of course, if you win the kind of, of prizes that you have, you'll make far more than you'll make uh, anywhere else. But of course, that's not the reason to join any field. Dr. Sain, last questions. This kind of bounty really coming your way, but you have uh, clarified that you're nowhere near retiring yet. Is that correct? No, certainly not. <laughs> That's good to know. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. All of that and all the very best. And of course, many, many congratulations yet again. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.